Keepers, I'm Daniel, and today I want to talk to you guys about the RODI systems and about updating my filters. Previously I had a problem with my algae, and you can see the green is growing on here. Now it's not really a big concern because this TDS meter is showing um, that my water is pretty dirty when it comes in. So it's just a pre-filter and with light exposure, it's, it, it's going to happen. So anyway, so we got a cover for that, we're going to try these dress socks and we're going to slip it over the canister and we're going to see how that works out. So I'll let you guys know how that works. But also, number one, we have a 5 micron filter. Uh, number two, we're going to use a 5 micron carbon block. And number three will be a 1 micron carbon block. So after we're done that, before it goes into the DI system, uh, we're actually switching to the Pro Cation um, DI resin. And this is really cool because it is color changing. They were sold out at the time of the anion, but if you look up here, we have three mixed bed units, and I'm gonna switch those mixed beds to anion, cation, and then mixed bed. That way I know by the time it's getting to the end, that's our emergency chamber. So I can change these when they're used up because they don't get used 50-50. So some people mix them, they do like a 10% ratio or something, whatever, but it's just so much easier. I have three of those reactors, that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm looking forward to seeing how much we save with those. Um, you can see we always take our tape and we label it whenever we install new ones. It's a great way to keep records because three or four months later on, you don't remember what did what and what was in what. So we always rotate our chambers and move the last ones to the forward. So as before, as that one would get depleted first, it's always depleted first. So we would move the last chamber forward, and then we would put brand new ones in the, in the end. So by rotating them, we are always constantly having a new supply of DI resin, and we have a zero TDS meter all the time. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.